Welcome to the Dirt Time Channel. I'm Alan Halcon. I'm Christopher Nyargesh. I'm Dude McLean. And today we're going to go over some various fire starting way of methods. Well, guys, we all have a fire starting device with us. Right. Magnesium, ferrocerium, right. or whatever. Right. Today, let's talk about the different ways that you can start a fire, how to use the property of ferro rod and whatnot. Let me pull this one out oh, of well, here. This a rod in the handle. A rod in the handle. Anyway. So we have the ferrocerium. John has already talked about the differences between mission metal and ferrocerium, so we figured this would be a good follow-up. Now, we all know that, or we do, that the knife doesn't have to be carbon steel. That's a common misconception that it has to be carbon steel. In fact, pretty much anything with a hard, sharp edge that's harder than the ferrocerium itself will strike it. A hard, sharp edge. Right, so in this case we have stainless steel, and it'll shoot a spark. Let's contrast that with a piece of glass, okay? So okay. there it is. Glass even a, will work. Even a piece of glass will work. Interesting. So various rocks would probably work too. I'm sure various so rocks, something, hard enough rock. something that's not like edge. granite that's yeah, gonna fall yeah. apart with on a you. Sharp edge. So, now, one of the methods in John's book was to take your knife, in this case, this knife here, have some tinder, prop it up on a twig just like this so it's elevated off the ground, Put your tinder underneath, step on it. So this is a one-handed method. One-handed, and everyone should practice one-handed because you may be injured. You may need to know this skill. Good point. And John came up with this? I'm, I don't know if he came up with it, but it's in his book. Okay. Okay. And then from here, you clever. And you just strike it, and you pull up on the ferro rod. So you're in there, one-handed. Getting a good shower of sparks. I didn't realize yeah. you'd get it so firm like that. That's good. You're stepping on it. Now, another method that we've used before and we've all seen people when we've when we've started these one-handed fire challenges the different things that they try to do yeah dirttime.com and our dirt time events we have these one-handed fire challenges and have people come up with some of the goofiest ways to try to start their fire <laughs> it really is pretty goofy seeing some of those things the bottom line is this is why we do this stuff we practice it so we actually do need to default back to the skill we own it another way to do this is you take your ferro take your piece of tinder but it's really worth noting that if you're injured, you only have one hand. Right. I'm going to have to try this myself. Right. It's really worth um, worth, worth uh, developing that skill. You take your tinder, put it up against a stump or a boulder or a tree, and you take your ferro rod, and with the side of your foot, you just hold it in place. You just pin it up against that object. And then, and then you just start raking that. And you can see that I've already caught it. Yeah. It doesn't that take much good. effort That's at all. That's good. That's easy, yeah. wasn't it? Got yeah. Go. Pretty you know, good. there are different ways of doing this. You know, we've seen people, the most common thing we see is people holding this, if their tinder's out here, and they're holding this up here, mm -hmm. trying to it's do this. Far away. Yeah. Get it in there. Go slow and controlled. That's all it takes, just slow and controlled. If you go fast, you'll see a lot of people will strike like he's doing, and at the same time, they're hitting their tinder and putting out the coal. Right. Scattering it, yeah. All you have to do is slow and controlled. Not up here. Slow and controlled. Now, I go down. Some people may want to just hold that in place and pull up on the ferro rod itself, which is another way of doing it. So that almost sounds like you're speaking metaphysically, and this is your formula for a successful life, slow and controlled. That's right, which we've all followed. Well, and certainly Alan right. has. It's, it's very right. unorganized chaos in my life, but I like yeah, it that way. Right, right. Well, these are interesting ways to do this, and something that, you know, when you see it, it seems so simple, yet most people, especially the one-handed methods, they never think of it. No. It's pretty this simple. Is very cool. You know, again, this is something that all people should practice before they go out there and have to try this in a real life situation. So right. we're gonna and say that, and yeah, and then try it with your offhand. If Absolutely. You're, if you're injured, try it with your offhand. You know, one of the most difficult things, I mean once you get this, one of the most difficult things that is gonna occur if you have to do this with your offhand is most people put like their knives and their stuff in the pocket that they most frequently use. If you're right handed in your right pocket. One of the most difficult things is if you have to revert to a left hand is getting those items out of your pocket. That's right. Especially if you're running. Uh, Alan has redeemed himself again <laughs> as the fire god. There you All go. Right. I'm Alan Halcon. Thanks for watching DirtTime.com. Check your six.